Hi, till now we talked about intermediate operations such as map, filter, uh, sorted, distinct, etc. But as a terminal operation, we only used a for each loop to iterate over all the items and print out the values inside it. But now we will talk about another terminal operation, a reducer operation. And especially we will talk about collectors. A reducer operation takes a sequence of input elements and combines them into a single summary result. This result may be a single one collection or any type of one object instance. Simply they collect the items and they may get some attributes of these items and process this data and output only one output. Collectors are reducers and they do something like this. Let's say we have some circles with different radiuses in our stream radius 3 cm, 5 and 5 cm and our collector will find the total area of these shapes since the area of the circle is pi times r square this will simply uh, calculate the area by pi times r square this is 3 times uh, 3 square and then 3 times 5 square and 3 times 5 square and our collector will sum up all the areas of these circles and the result is this only one result okay this is the first function of collectors uh, the second thing a, that a collector can do is to create a new collection by using a stream here is our stream with uh, multiple items and by using this collector we have created a list that may be a, that may be a list a set or a map implementation any kind of collection okay the other thing is that a collector may group the items according to some attributes of the items and then put into a collection in this example we created a map and group all the items according to the radius so on this key of the map we put one item and then we put two items into this key because the key is five here and the key is three here we have two keys inside this set and we have some pre-built collector implementations to perform some common tasks that's why java 8 comes with a collectors utility class and this collectors class has some pre-built collector implementations inside to do these tasks okay first one is collectors dot to list uh, this simply puts all the items into a list second is to collection we use this collector to get all the items inside a stream and put them into a desired collection. This collection is supplied with a supplier. As you can see, three sets constructor is supplied here as the supplier function. Uh, if you pass hash set here, all the items will be put into an hash set. If you say array list new, uh, all the items will be put into an array list and so on. The other the other operation is joining let's say you have 10 items inside your stream all of these items will be joined uh, by this character and all of them will be reduced into a single item so this can be used as a stream concatenation okay the other one is summing int according to the function you pass to this function this function will sum up all the values and reduce all the values into a single result single integer in this example you say that get the age of each item and sum all of these age values and uh, reduce to a single integer for instance we may use it to sum up the ages of all of our employees okay the other function is grouping by grouping by is used for gr grouping the items according to a given supplier again and then you may put them into a list with collectors to list or etc and partitioning by partitions the data according to a predicate not a function but a predicate in this case uh, because uh, it groups the items if uh, this item conforms to this predicate or not but grouping by is different you may group uh, all the employees for instance according to their departments or their uh, salary intervals okay 
let me show you an example let's say we have some employees and their salaries are different their departments also are different and we need to find the average salary of each department in this case first we need to partition the employees according to their department okay partitioning by then by using averaging int uh, method we may get the average salaries of each department so this will output 4000 uh, this will output 1500 okay this is wrong now let's implement this solution 